Hey, I'm Skylar, and today I'm going to talk about posting to Blogger from your iPod Touch. I assume you already have a Blogger account if you're watching this video. If you don't, uh, just go to www.blogger.com and you're going to create a new Gmail account basically. It's straightforward. Uh, it'll walk you through a couple more pages about what the title of your blog is going to be and uh, what the domain will be, those sorts of things. It should take you about mm, 4 minutes and 45 seconds. After that, you're going to go to the App Store on your iPod Touch. Then search for Blogger. And you'll know it when you see the big orange B. Just install that, as I have. And the first thing you'll see when you open up Blogger is the sign-in page. So you'll sign in with the uh, Gmail account that you just created a moment ago. And once you do, you'll see the title of your blog up at the top of the screen and three options down at the bottom. Settings, which give you uh, control over which blog, you know, the size of your images when you upload them, you can send feedback, check out the privacy policy terms of service, you know, stuff like that. Um, but the most important button is on the left hand side. It's the one that looks like a pencil. So tap that. And you see the form here. At the bottom, there are a couple different uh, buttons. And let's talk about what those mean. On the far left, you can see a picture of a camera. So if I tap that, it would turn the camera on for my iPod Touch and I would be able to make a photograph and it would automatically attach that to my post. The icon to the right of that you probably recognize, it uh, means your camera roll photographs you already have stored on your iPod. So if you want to uh, post a blog entry about things that you found on the internet and it's saved to your camera roll, that's where you would find them. Finally, on the far right, you see that little target or reticle, and that's your location. So if you want to tag your blog post with your current location, you'd tap that to turn it on. Directly above that, we see labels. Those are tags or keywords which help other people to find your blog, specifically this post. So if you're trying to generate traffic to your blog, it's a really good idea to figure out what labels or keywords people are actually going to search for in Google. Above that, you see the post content. That's actually the body of your post, whatever it is you want to say to the world. And above that is your post title. So all you would have to do is type post title and say, you know, whatever you want to. Hello world. Blah, blah, blah. You can hide the keyboard by tapping this orange button. And that allows you to get to your camera or to your photographs. Blogger wants to use my current location, so I say OK. And I'll put a keyword in. Oh, see this? It's found a couple different places that are near me. Actual establishments. It's probably pulled them from uh, Google Locations. So let's say we're, uh, we're at the State Theater. OK. And then for labels, I'm going to say Portland, because that's where we live. And then tap Publish. It's that easy. I'm Skylar. Thanks for watching.